All right, so here we go. Now, this is something that we're calling, and you guys are the first, so you're in first place. Uh, this is something we're calling the, the Dirty Challenge. I am a dirty martini fanatic, Blaze. And so you're going to make a dirty martini. And uh, this one's a little bit different, I can tell, with some of the ingredients that you've been throwing around. Uh, what makes your martini different, and what do you like in a martini? Uh, to answer your first question, we're going to use a, uh, our olive bronze flavored with a little bit of oregano and garlic. Okay. Uh, and the olives are going to be stuffed with uh, marinated garlic and oh. marinated red pepper. Oh, Blaze, Blaze. You had me at marinated garlic. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah, a little, little variation on that. Gotcha, gotcha. What makes a martini special? Because everybody, and here's the thing, I try to tell my friends who, who kind of make fun of me for, for loving uh, dirty martinis so much, I can go in different parts of the country, different parts of the state, different parts of the town, and every martini tastes different. I think every bartender kind of puts their spin on it. And it, that is true. It's kind of, uh, you can kind of take on your own personality with a martini, can't you? Uh, you can. Traditionally, uh, a martini is made with gin. But over the years, it became more popular as vodka. And now it's starting to go back to gin. Um, dirty, dirty martini just adds a saltiness to people who don't like that straight vodka, straight gin flavor. It makes it friendlier. It's a preference thing. Well, yeah, I mean, this isn't the 30s, and I'm not Winston Churchill, so I like vodka in mine. So tell us. Go ahead and get it going, man. Tell us what you're doing while you do it. I'm going to start with the, with the vodka. I'm using Kettle One. I'm going to do two and three quarter ounces. Mm, hear that sound, mix listeners? That's the sound of vodka. Here we go. Now, Blaze. Uh, we're going to do half an ounce of dry vermouth, okay. uh, which is a fortified wine. It's uh, infused as a little herbal flavor to the vodka and also cuts the harshness of the vodka. We'll do half an ounce of that. Okay, all right. I always wondered how much vermouth to put in. You know, it's like sometimes, you know, there are times where I'll just kind of rinse my glass out with vermouth. Have you ever heard of people trying that? Some people, people prefer that. Traditionally, a martini was made with equal parts gin, equal parts vermouth. Gotcha. And over the years, it uh, went away from that. Gotcha, all right, now, oh, here it comes. Here comes the dirty. Now, now Blaze asked me off the air, he goes, you know, how dirty do you like it? And I said, absolutely filthy, Blaze. Uh, here comes the shaking. Now, can you shake a martini too much? You can. It waters it down. Um, I'm going to stir this. I'm going to stir it for about 30 seconds. Mix the flavors while chilling uh, the vodka and other ingredients. Are martinis, uh, do they, are they as popular as they used to be? I mean, I'd say, let's say in the last, let's go last 10 years. 10 years. What's a, what's a martini anymore? They, they are more, they are as popular. Uh, they, they've gotten away from flavored vodkas and artificial mixers, back to traditional ingredients and natural ingredients. So, so that's uh, certainly helped it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Blaze Antonio from Encore Bar and Nightclub over at Crosswoods joining us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is what killed Elvis right here, Blaze. Let's get a look. And you can check this all out on our website, mymix1079.com. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Blaze, that is amazing. That is, like you said, that's almost like it's, I, can, I can taste Italy in there. Perfect. That, that, is that that's exactly what, what you're going for? Yeah. I mean, that's, 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 that's amazing, man. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy. So I am going to uh, finish that, obviously, once I get off the air, if you, if you don't mind. But, Blaze, thank you so much. I'm going to go over and talk to your owner here. Uh, thank you so much, Blaze, for, 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 for joining pleasure. us, bro.